What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena of Power Esports video and today we are actually gonna be checking out some pro games on the new patch and it is just not any pro game, it is the reigning world champion Flash Wolves. I'm sorry if I spoiled anyone but I waited explicitly like one week uh, after my long finals video so I'm sure most of you who wanted to check that out already checked it out and yeah we have a Flash Wolves going up against HKA here. Of course, HKA was at the AIC as uh, at the APL as well, excuse me. And we have the new patch, okay? So we have the new enchantments, the Forest Wanderer buff, we have Endless Cycle nerf, we have Thorn, we have Align, we have so much new stuff. We have Elsu being banned out because he's incredibly strong with that Forest Wanderer enchantment. Xenial ban, um, similar to the APL. Uh, zip ban, D-Rock is nerfed, so we might not see him coming out as much anymore. By the way, let's just quickly shout out the GCS here, okay? Garena is doing an amazing job with this, uh, like, uh, interface, right? Just take a look at this, man. The bands, the picks, it is just absolutely beautiful. You always see the players top, okay? Uh, stellar performance there by the GCS broadcast. And yeah, we have a Richter ban coming out as well. Now, what will be the first pick? As I said, Thorn is available, okay? Thorn is incredibly broken as well. So we might just see that being first pick. Um, Align, I don't know about Align's strength. He doesn't seem like a, a hero for competitive. And we have a Thorn pick. <laughs> that is already going to be super exciting to watch. And uh, yeah, we'll see what gets picked here. They're hovering a Zenkan. Now, he was buffed, but I don't think this is... I think this is just a troll hover. We'll see uh, what comes here by HKA. Of course, Caffeine is still incredibly broken, guys. Lavil is still incredibly strong as well. Ignis being picked out. Yeah, after d nerfs, Ignis is probably the strongest mage right now. Um, Illumia is really strong as well, okay? So we might see her uh, yesterday or today. I'm not sure when I'm uploading this one, but I already made a video about Illumia, how strong she is right now. Vera being hovered as well. She was buffed, of course, as well. She got changed a little bit video uh, coming in uh, of that, a nice gameplay of that coming in soon, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Anyway, let's see what we uh, see here. I, I don't think Vera is a good pick, uh, even if she's somehow really strong now, I haven't tested her, but uh, against Kefani, against Ignis, I don't think you can get, I, I don't think you can walk into those ranges uh, without just being bursted out. Uh, we have a Kricknack hover, I think Kricknack is a great pick against Kefani and against Ignis, and yeah, we'll see if this... I, I Guys, I don't think Vera is getting picked, okay? Let's just be real. I don't think Vera, at least in this game. Again, against Kefani, against... He switches last second to Illumia. Beautiful. We're already seeing uh, Thorn. We're seeing Illumia. We're seeing some new enchantments. So this is gonna be super exciting. Uh, we can scout these builds and copy them for our own ranked games. And yeah. We'll see how this goes right now. What is HK gonna last pick before this second ban rotation, of course, okay? Now, uh, both teams have a mid laner, both teams have a marksman, and seems like both teams are gonna have a jungler. Um, Rourke is a good pick against Kricknack. Um, if Kricknack jumps on you, you can ult and then just uh, keep life stealing, and after his initial burst, he just dies uh, very easily. Aurorch is also amazing against all that CC coming in by Illumia. So I'm really liking that Rourke pick. We'll see if it gets locked in though. And uh, against Thorn, I mean, what are you going to do against Thorn? He is absolutely insane. I highly encourage you to, guys to check out my Thorn guide, uh, which I did on the test server with, uh, with a good build, with a good enchantment setup, Arcana, all of that good stuff. So check that out. Um, if you don't know what Thorn does, of course, he is crazy. Really looking forward to seeing who's going to play this. Uh, we already have a Kricknack, so it won't be a Thorn jungle, although that's really good, but it won't be for sure because Kricknack can't really lane. Uh, I mean, he can, but come on. Um, we, I think we will see him on God Duel. I believe he is the Marksman player. And yeah, we have a Florentino ban coming out and an online ban. Wow. Is it going to get locked in? I don't think it's locked in yet. Maybe they're just hovering it. But I want to see if that online actually gets banned. And we have a teamy ban, which is really, really good. It's a super good counter against Kricknack. It's a super good pick along with that Kefani and that Rourke as well. 
uh, becomes extremely unkillable and we have a switch to Roxy so no online ban if we see online here that would be such a cool game but I don't think guys Online is seems like a really nice hero for solo ranked, but for competitive, he doesn't have a lot of agency, you know? He doesn't have a lot of outplay potential, like he has some heals here and there, he has his ult, which is really cool, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not sure about Align's strength yet, especially because the people in my Discord who are on other servers than EU RNA, who already have Align for a long time, are saying that he isn't that strong, okay? Uh, meanwhile, they're saying that Thorn is completely broken, so <laughs> we see the same trend here. Alice ban, so it seems like Flash Wolves is definitely banning a lot of um, uh, supports, and we have an Align and a Zata hover, okay? Now, the thing about Align, uh, the thing about Zata here, of course, um, they already have a mage, so that, that, that would be troll, right? But Zata got also buffed, so expect to see more Zata, and I think I'm gonna put the whole series... Um, I think this is a best of three. Uh, we're just gonna put this in one video, I think, okay? So, again, I think when I do these esports reviews now, I'm just gonna go put whole series in one video so you can ex you can enjoy your Arena of Valor Shirko movie uh, every now and then <laughs> with some uh, healthy snacks like veggies, okay? Now, we have a Lubu being picked up. So, that is gonna be... Uh, going to the Slayer lane for HK here. Omen is still available, guys, okay? Omen is a really, really strong pick. Um, we have um, Varys hover. Now, Varys is not the best hero right now. However, she's getting a mini rework again on the test server, okay? Um, I can make... I mean, I won't make a video. I don't like making videos about test server changes um, because they always they keep changing, you know? until the full release, so... But Varys is basically reverting to four stacks on her passive, but we don't have that yet, so I don't think she would be a good pick, and yeah, exactly as I said, Omen was up, they pick it up, and we have an Arum. Now, Arum really isn't picked often, uh, but against Rourke, it is completely broken, guys, and against Lubu as well. It completely counters these two heroes of the enemy team, so uh, yeah, it will be very difficult for the enemies to play against this Arum. Meanwhile, uh, on the side of HK, we have an Ormar pickup for their support role. Very nice combo, so much CC coming in to help that Kefini out, okay? So, very nice um, draft from both teams. I mean, of course, I can't rate them too well yet, because we haven't seen how these uh, new heroes interact. Look at this interface, man, I'm telling you. A GCS, better production quality than APL, which is hilarious. But yeah, look at this crisp resolution to come on, guys. We got a we got a simple GCS all over here. Is of course the Taiwanese Pro League. Um, yeah. Now we have a Flash Force going up against HKA. The game is starting right now. Game one of this, I believe, best of three. And we have Ignis already doing his spamming thing where you uh, you hit only one or two minions and one is not hit with your S1, and then you can just keep, you know, applying mark to the one where it didn't apply first and you explode the other marks so you reset the cooldown instantly but now the other one has a mark so you can uh, spam your s1 again and reset it and then you can just you know tsk, tsk, and instantly clear that wave use a lot of mana though so you don't always want to do it um we have uh Kef Ooh, look at the enchantments being shown so straight off the get-go only two endless cycles of course endless cycle received such a heavy nerf oh my god this illumia is losing this lane hard right now this shouldn't be happening in my opinion because illumia can fight very well against this ignis um also illumia is going for a phoenix tier of course that got reverted as well is a very safe choice for competitive i don't ex i don't uh, recommend it for your solo rank games though um, unless you're not too experienced at mid lane and you just want to have a safe lane and get to late game. But yeah, we, we're definitely going to take a look at his Thorn because he's also running a Forest Wanderer enchantment, okay? That should be a ton of fun to check out how he's going to do and how he's going to use his S1, okay? Because this is the first time we see a pro player use it in another ranked game. I've seen the Rush gameplays, but um, it's just ranked games, so we don't know if he's trying super hard and stuff like that. Maybe he's testing stuff. But this is a serious game of uh, the summer GCS season, the first match, by the way. Uh, it just happened to have the uh, world champion in it already, so of course I had to check it out. And yeah, Thorn with a Forest Wanderer. We will see how this goes. Uh, Flash Wolves is already getting invaded here. Of course, HKA has an incredibly strong early game with Rourke and Ormar. But look at this Illumia ult. 
Ooh, beautiful dodge by Shaolin coming in. He dashes between the two Illumia Ilu ult instances and is able to dodge away from it. And now again, and as I said, they have such a strong... Also, what's going to be really interesting is to see these support items, okay? I think both supports are going to go for the shield enchantment or the shield uh, thingy. Uh, support item, okay, because I think it's absolutely busted, man. It gives you such a large shield and right now we have Arum um, Engaging onto this armor. They are not able to pick up this skill. No first blood drop so far Still a 500 gold lead for HKA after they invaded that blue buff and got it from this trick knight This is definitely gonna set him back and yeah um, Also Flash Wolves is not playing with their main jungler. Kato is not playing, right? Flash Wolves was Kato, yeah, I, I believe Kato was on Flash Wolves and they're playing with Sor instead of Kato. So we'll see. Maybe they're sandbagging here a little bit. Maybe they're giving the man his well-earned uh, vacation, you know, after hard carrying a lot of these games on his jungle. Um, yeah, as I said, I expect either um, the purifying enchant, uh, purifying item, support item, or the um, shield support item from both supports because these seem just so strong. And a shield for everyone in your team around you uh, that is absolutely ginormous honestly um, remember the old shield and sh uh, shield support item was only on one person and it's almost the same it's the same uh, shield almost okay it's it's just so much so just such a huge shield and the purifying item now not only blocks the CC uh, removes CC but it also gives you a heal for the whole team okay around you so, I don't know, I feel like these are crazy. The aggressive ones, it doesn't have too much range, but while I'm saying that, we have a fight breaking out. Rourke drops too much CC, too much burst for his shield. He drops in the end. And of course, on HK side, no endless cycles available, but now Flash Wolves is once again re-engaging this Lubu, sustaining very well. He does not get his S1 back though. Kriknak drops to the tower though, uses Endless Cycle instantly, and now this um, Ignis is in a huge pinch as well. Gets, gets taken down in the end by Heroes. Heroes get CC'd, will drop to the tower. Beautifully played by Abao on his Ormar there. Is able to get the blue buff, and now he goes back in on Shishi. Um, see, he already has the shield item. Yeah, he already has the shield item. Do both of them have the shield item? I, I can't tell what... I think Arum has the small item still, right? I, I can't really tell. I can't really tell, guys. This is too small. I look like an absolute idiot moving so close to the camera. But I don't even care, guys. <laughs> I don't even care. Anyway, we have... Um... Okay, I'm gonna stop. I don't know what Arum has. We will see whenever she uses it. I think she still has the small... Oh, she just upgraded. That is the eye, okay? I believe. Now, the eye... Well, I was gonna say the eye is really good too because it gives you movement speed. Of course, uh, Arum wants to engage, um, but yeah, usually you see the eye only against Invis heroes like Hira, like uh, Quillen, stuff like that, uh, like Wukong. But um, yeah, she went for the eye to just uh, help with the engages. Now this Thorn is getting attacked here. Is not really doing too much damage. Ooh, the shield once again, guys. This shield, man. I'm telling you, this shield support item is insane, okay? You have to try it. I mean, I play Richter support on the new patch. I'm gonna make a video soon where you just play super aggressive, right? And man, I, even, even on that one, I don't go for the missiles, okay? The missiles, they have like such a small range, guys, okay? It is not really impressive to me. They don't really do a lot of damage. I tried them on Joker support. My auto attack has the same range or something as this thingy, I, I, it's crazy, man. I don't know. I mean, the empowered auto attack. So I, I, I'm not a fan of that. Um, what else is there even? There's one more, right? There's one more support item. Oh yeah, the one that buffs you, that is always solid. It gives you a lot of stats, but uh, uh, in pro play, you most of the time, having a, another button to press is very good because it gives you more uh, abilities to use. Uh, yeah, it, oftentimes items without an active, are inferior to items with an active, okay? Um, yeah, it, it is what it is, it is what it is. The best sample is in Dota. I'm gonna use some nerd talk here, okay? In Dota, there was an item uh, called Daedalus 
that gave you so much crit chance and crit damage. It was so broken, just the raw stats, but it didn't have an active, okay? And in Dota, the items, almost every item has an active. You most, Sometimes you have like five actives in your whole thing, okay? You have five additional buttons to press from your eye. Oh my god, beautiful snipe there onto that uh, Ormar gets taken down in the end. And we have a huge uh, team fight while well, I'm talking about Dota items, but I want to finish my point so I can seem like an extra nerd and flex my knowledge onto you guys. And no one, no pro bought Dedalus ever. It was so ridiculously strong, no one ever bought it because they kept saying, man, I would rather buy uh, something else with an active, right? I, I would rather do some less damage, but I have a broken active, okay? And the, I, the actives in... Uh, in Dota are incredibly broken. Imagine a Purify, but it lasts uh, and it also makes you immune to magic damage and it lasts like eight seconds. <laughs> it's crazy, okay? So yeah, stuff like that. Interesting. That is why we probably won't see too many of these, uh, this passive support item picked up and Omen is getting uh, engaged upon um, right as we speak, ooh, beautiful Chain CC coming in by Illumia with that ult. You can see it comes out much faster. That is exactly what I was talking about in that Illumia gameplay that I uploaded either yesterday or today. I don't know how long this will take to upload, let's be real. Um, but yeah, crazy, crazy game right now. Um, we have Thorn using mostly his purple bullets, okay? That is how he's gonna deal the most damage. Now, I'm not sure if they're playing on the newest newest patch i believe they are because we have illumia being picked up she is of course um only strong on the newest newest patch that i uploaded like two days ago the patch notes for so i believe thorn is already nerfed okay um and a lot of that nerf was to his purple bullets so i'm a little bit confused why he's using those i think uh, the blue bullets are incredibly strong right now because they give you that cooldown reduction So you can just spam your ult twice per team fight and if you hit that well You can do an insane amount of damage to the enemies with it We have a 3k gold lead coming out coming in by HK. So the world champs are losing right now, okay? Um, we have the thorn just going for that standard build. I believe I showed you a very similar one I think I go for I, I would go for handshake but again, this is pro play. The enemies have an Ignis and Ormar. That's a lot of CC coming in. So a slick sting is oftentimes better in that case uh, than a handshake. But man, he is... I'm not sure what to say about this Thorn because he's still going for the purple bullets. So maybe they were so ridiculously broken that you still have to go for them. And you can see he always uses two of them and then he just chills, okay? So he doesn't instantly activate. So he doesn't waste uh, the cooldown instantly on his, um, on his S1, okay? So definitely something to learn and pick up uh, from this gameplay. Oftentimes you just want to use one of them. And now he it went on cooldown. He wanted to clear the wave as fast as possible. And HK is in a very, very good position here. Because, I mean, I, I don't know how to rate Thorn for the late game. Still, I think Thorn probably is ridiculously strong late game. Uh, that ultimate does a lot of damage in team fights. Uh, that S1 has so much versatility for the late game, that S2, a lot of mobility. Um, while I'm saying that though, Rourke gets completely called out, tried to dive Shishi under the tower. Shishi flickered over the wall and kited everyone. Um, now the thing about this Illumina is she's very, very uh, prone to getting dove, to getting jumped on. But while I'm saying that, they get another kill onto Armar now. Flash was definitely getting a nice little comeback here. Still almost 3k gold behind. Ooh, beautiful re-engage there by Ignis. Uses his flicker but forces the Thorn's flicker as well. Now, as I'm saying, Thorn has a lot of possibilities to play the late game. He has that percentage magic damage on his purple um, S1. Now, the thing about Thorn is, I'm not sure if he outscales uh, Kefin, okay? So I'm not sure who to give this late game to because let me tell you, ooh, beautiful old flicker coming in by uh, heroes on his omen, catching out Kefani, and they get the Ignis as well. Now that is a complete comeback. They can, oh my god, what is Rourke doing? He just dives into five people <laughs> by himself right there. That is a free slayer right now. Beautifully, uh, beautiful comeback coming in by um, Flash Wolves here on the back of heroes there. Very well played. And as I said, was that stolen? It was stolen. No, it wasn't stolen. My bad. It wasn't stolen. I was looking at the ground for the purple buff, right, on the Slayer. But I forgot on the new patch they changed it to this bluish glow, which I think is really cool. But 
Um, yeah, I, I, I thought Ormar stole that. He tried. He tried to go for the heroic mission, wasn't able to do it. And also, yeah, look at this combo, man. Illumia and Omen, such a nice combo uh, to hit that ult guaranteed while Omen is ulting the enemy. I mean, the enemy can still dodge it, but it's very difficult to dodge it at that point. And look at this Arum, just keeps diving the enemies. Beautifully played. I have to say, this Arum, Arum is executing her pick extremely well. Definitely one of the main players for this team as well, who is um, doing extremely well. And yeah, look at Shishi, 0 0 12. This is the power of Illumia. You're gonna be assistance, Andrew, but you are gonna be so impactful in these games. And man, I'm telling you guys, Ignis is one of the strongest late game mages, but Illumia might take the K. Oh, beautiful S1 flicker by Shishi there, engages the team fight, ults instantly. A game over pretty much there. Oh man, that is so well played right now. Very, very impressive. Meanwhile, Rourke was able to... I don't think you can 1v1 that. I don't think you can... I don't think you can kite that. Yeah, that was crazy. That is why Sora is not the main jungler. I'm just kidding, man. I, I can't blame you. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that is why Kato is the main jungler. Let's just be 100% real. That... Even I see that is, that is absolutely garbage. Probably even you, Silver Boys, saw that. Um, you can't do that against Rourke, but it's all good. Look at this Kefini just being completely... Oh my god, that ult was terrible! <laughs> that ult was terrible, I thought. You, you were in range, you have to keep auto-attacking. You just stand there charging your ult for like 15 years there, leaning back like an absolute loser, while Kefini is just beating you up, life-stealing everything back up that you did to her. Oh man, and you end up missing it as well. Come on, man, that was terrible. But it's all good because it gives us a more fun game. Another comeback for HKA right now. Ooh, beautiful. Look at Heroes, man. Instant flicker ult onto this Kefani. They drop her. Um, Kricknack drops again, but that's all good though. Because now they can maybe win this team fight. Because this woman is incredibly strong. Look at this, man. Oh my god. That was a good uh, Thorn ult. Half health of both of these enemies, man. Thorn is so incredibly strong. Look at this, man. He is just completely smurfing on them right now with his S2, with his S1 there on blue. It was on blue. I think he will use it on blue again, but I think it's GG anyway. Uh, but if it wasn't GG yet, he would use it on blue. He's using it on blue to get the ult back sooner, okay? To get that cooldown reduction. Nice game one, man. Super nice start to the series. Very excited to check out game two. Let's see who gets this MVP. I believe it should go to Heroes. He completely turned the game around two, two times with that old flicker. Uh, but it will probably go to Shishi because he had the most... Uh... No, it did go to Heroes. Beautiful. Well played. Very well played. Um, super stellar performance by Omen. And yeah, uh, we will move straight into uh, game number two here. Okay, guys, listen. Okay. L listen, boys. There is no game two, okay? They are, it's a best of one. How could I know though? Take a look at this. Match one, game one. What is that, the GCS, huh? I was simping your production quality. What is that? Huh? If there's no game two, why are you calling it game one? Huh? How can there be game one without game two? What are you doing? You're making me look like a clown, but you're the clowns. Anyway, guys. Let me know what you thought. This is gonna be the end of this video. Let me know what you thought about this. That was a super nice game to check out. I will keep doing these esports gameplays, not daily, but you know, every now and then, like maybe three per week. Let me know what you think about this plan. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a fat clown emoji for GCS. Game one without game two? What is that? Huh? Guys, my falsetto is insane, okay? Insane the gaming singer hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace out boys bye bye